We are staying in Abuja where President Muhammad Buhari has appealed to the academic staff union of universities to consider the plight of the students who are currently staying idle at home. The president made the appeal at the 19th National Productivity Day at the conferment of the National Productivity Order of Merit Award held in Abuja. The president equally urged students in public tertiary institutions to exercise patience as the federal government is striving to address the nagging issues in the nation's university system within the ambit of available resources. President Buhari's appeal is coming two days after the union extended its industrial action, accusing the government of unwillingness to address its demands. I want to use this opportunity to call on the academic staff union and the universities to consider the flight of our students and call off the ongoing strike action. The federal government has resumed talks with striking university workers in its bid to ensure return of academic activities. Chief of Staff to President Mohamed Buhari Ibrahim Gambari appealed to striking university workers to shelve their industrial action while negotiations continue. That the university unions insist concrete implementation of agreements reached is central to their return to work. TVC News correspondent Jokia Disa reports. Three months on and campuses of government-owned universities remain short to academic and non-academic activities. The recent extension of the three-month ASU strike by another three months jotted many citizens, including the government. This meeting is at the behest of President Muhammadu Buhari, who expressed concerns about the continued lull across public universities. The Chief of Staff to the President leads these resumed talks, and his only appeal is for the unions to sheet their swords. Because our students belong in the classrooms, not at home, during the educational calendar year. Our professors belong in the classroom and in the research laboratories. The Nigerian Interreligious Council, NIREC, is also represented at this meeting. It's important for us more to please to call on our comrades, our colleagues, to see to the suspension of this strike while these negotiations continue. We have spoken loud and clear. We know that for us to have peace in Nigeria, we cannot leave your situation as it is. For the union leaders, the government has over the years failed to exhibit the willpower to keep to signed agreements. We are the ones suffering on where we are on this strike. Our children are at home. I have six people in the universities. Our children are at home. We are not getting salary, but we, we, we have decided we will manage it if we need driving taxi. The only thing that has been done since we started, instead of arresting the issue and solving the problem, and the student goes back to work, we stop our salary. The level where we are is beyond rhetorics now. Is implementation. The leadership of the organized labor also adds its voice to the prompt resolution of all issues in dispute. The agenda of the meeting discussed behind closed door include inconsistencies in IPPIS payments, non-payment of areas of minimum wage, consequential adjustment and promotion areas, funding for the revitalization of public universities, university transparency accounting system by ASU, and other platform issues. At the end of the more than three hour long meeting, the union leaders walked out without answering reporters' questions on its outcome. But the government side says the meeting continues next week. Hey. TVC News, Abuja. Let's talk politics now. The Lagos State Chapter of Women for Swagger 23, a political group in support of the national leader of the All Progressives Congress, Ashwa Jabal Ahmed Tinubu's presidential bid, has assured of its readiness to deliver over 5 million votes for Ashwa Tinubu. Ademola Lawrence reports. As the race for 2023 general elections get closer, the Southwest Agenda 23 has continued to expand the support base of national leader of the All Progressive Congress, Ashwa Jibala Metinumbu. The event was preceded by free medical care for ailments such as diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, malaria, provision for free eyeglasses for reading and vision for those in need. Kokaguda local government council explained that the initiative of the free health care was to provide succor for those needing care. 
Um, it signifies the interest and the vision and what he has done before of Ashwa Dibala Tinubu because he is always very concerned about people's health. Speaking on the role of women in politics, peace and tranquility, the National Coordinator of Women for Swaga 23, Ayo Omidiro, re-emphasized the importance of women in politics. We believe that before the next election, we would have taken concrete steps to ensure that we have more women participating in uh, elective positions. The program also witnessed the inauguration of Swagat and three women to expand the support base of Ashwa Jibola Metinumbu. For the national executive of Swagat and three, they will continue to propagate the gospel of former governor of Lagos State and the Ashwa of victory. Part of the delegates will have a sizable number of women. That's number one. Two, we are sure that concerning the delegates, we are comfortable with the kind of acceptance we have received so far. There's been a provision for consensus, but we don't believe in consensus as Swaga. We believe in one man, one vote. So we are expecting either all Kakari members' election or delegate election. There are contestants that Ashwajibola Ahmed Tunubu has moved far, far ahead of every other person in the park. We are ahead, we are happy they are following us, and at the end of the primaries, everybody should come together so that we can all work for the success of Ashwajibola Ahmed Tunubu. With few days to go to the All Progressive Congress presidential primary, Ashwaju Bola Metinubu has been to more than 10 states to convince delegates to vote for him in being a flag bearer of the party. Adimola Lawrence, TVC News, Lagos. Delegates of the All Progressives Congress in Kaduna State have endorsed the national leader of the APC and presidential aspirant Ashwaju Bola Metinubu as their preferred choice ahead of the primary election. Ashwa Jibola Tinubu, who says he's confident of winning the election, has promised to address the socioeconomic challenges and put an end to insecurity if elected. TVC News correspondent Lou Piasom reports. This was the mood as the national leader of the APC, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, visited Kaduna to meet with the party's delegates ahead of the upcoming primaries. A unanimous vote of confidence on the presidential aspirant ensued as Governor Nasu Erufai sought the delegates' opinion. When the people of Kaduna give their word, we can finish it the world bank. Let's finish the best bank in the end of and I have worked as your Jibola since my days in BP when I was director general. We worked together when I was minister of MCT. So I know him, I know his capacity, I know what he can do. Other speakers at the engagement also believe Bola Ahmed Tinubu is the man to lead the country out of his diverse social economic challenges. There are certain attributes, endearing attributes that are needed in a leader of Nigeria, of a nation teetering on the brink of an implosion. Only one person in our midst within the APC that possesses all these administrative skill set. That person is none other than Ashwa Yupola While soliciting for delegate support, Bola Tinubu is confident he will clinch the party's ticket. But he also promises to put an end to insecurity and tackle other social economic challenges bedeviling the nation. I say, please elect me. I am the best of all of them. In terms of experience, private sector experience, I have. Governance experience, you can see Lagos. That's where we are running. So maybe running, I don't know where to. But me, I'm going to the villa. <laughs> Dignitaries present include seven senators, former governors from various northern states, and others for APC stakeholders. With Bola Tinubu, they are sure the APC will retain its position as the leading party in Nigeria come 2023. Lupe Asom, TVC News, Kaduna.